I'm one of the singers. Hi, I'm Kevin Taylor. I'm percussionist. Hi, I'm Jason Nipper. I play drums. Hi, I'm Kathy Nipper, and I'm one of the singers. Hi, I'm Larry Nipper, and I'm one of the singers. And this is our group. Hey, what about me? My name's Wayne Gray, and I do the keyboards and drive a bus. And that's the Nippers. So I'm going to praise him. I'm not ashamed to praise him. And worry what they say God said we should gather If only two or three Richer, or poor, in one accord His spirit will always be Don't pay the price of sin Let Jesus have your heart God's free ways open You can make a new start And there's a free way to heaven If you want to go Praise. 
He's the one that deserves all the praise tonight. But he's the one we're singing about, and he's the one we're excited about tonight. Without him, we're nothing but one more grain of sand laying on the ocean front. I tell you, it's good for the nippers to be here in Bristol tonight to do this videotaping. And I tell you what, the Lord is here. I felt his presence. I felt his presence from the other groups. And we're just so happy and thrilled to be here. And we hope we sing something that will bless your hearts. We're the Nippers from Pulaski, Virginia. Listen to a beautiful song that Kathy wrote that says, It's just about time. Amen? See the birds are gathering, they know the time is near. It's more than a feeling, the Bible makes it plain. So be ready, it's just about time. He's coming back again. It's about time, it's about time, when time will be no more. It's about time, it's about time, last game will see our score. Now adding up tribulations to exchange them for a crown. It's about time. Now don't you think it's time we stand up for what is right But on the whole armor of God, Christian soldiers ready to fight Marching for the finish, holding banners way up high The victory has been won, soon we'll tell this world goodbye It's about time, it's about time God bless you. You're certainly a warm audience tonight, and you're so kind, and we feel God's presence here tonight. God bless every one of you. Before we go any farther, I'd like to go ahead and introduce the group so you'll know who we are, and uh, I'm sure you're wondering about all these guys back here in the back. And hey, let me start with our piano player. He's been with us for many, many years. I think he's the only truck-driving piano player on the road. Drives an 18-wheeler, and he can drive the bus also. Brother Wayne Gray from Christiansburg, Virginia. Over on the percussion, playing all the, uh, playing a kibasa, playing the wooden sticks, and several little things he'll be playing tonight, is Kevin Taylor. <laughs> now his dad is playing the bass guitar, and we're glad to have Don here tonight. Don Taylor, how about a big hand for him? <laughs> now way back on the drums is my, is my beloved son, and who I'm well pleased, most of the time. I think he's doing a super job for 12 years old. He's single and he's not looking. Jason Nipper. Now over on the lead guitar is a young man that's come with us a few months ago and he does a super good job. One of the finest Christian men I know, Brother Mike Thompson from Christiansburg. Now this young man on the left, I can't say enough about. I've met him many, many years ago. He's been a dear friend to Kathy and me. And uh, you just have to know him and his whole family to know what I'm talking about. You only have to be around him a couple of minutes to know he's, where he's coming from. And he does a super good job singing. And uh, you can look at his head and, then, and maybe you can figure out his name already. His name is John Hagee, but we call him Cotton. How about a big hand for Brother Cotton? <laughs> now this young lady right here beside me, as I said earlier, I'm from Pulaski, Virginia, right around that neck of the woods. And you know, I couldn't settle for a Virginia girl. I'm sorry about that, but I had to go to West Virginia to find me a girl. 
that could carry coal, chop wood, or do anything like that. That's right. So I'm just kidding about that. I can't get her to do that. But I went to Charleston, West Virginia and found this young lady. She's a super songwriter above that. She's a super Christian. And she's helped me many, many times through my struggles. Her name is Kathy. Kathy Nipper, my wife. My name is Larry Nipper. And I'm just glad to be a part of gospel music. And it's a privilege to be here tonight. God bless you. You know, here's a song that tells how I feel in my heart and in my life. And you know, you folks could be some other place. And, uh, and all these crew men here that's taking care of all the camera work and so on and all the people that's made it possible could be some other place tonight. But they chose to be right here and I'm glad. But here's a song that says, I don't have to serve the Lord, but I just want to. because he's done so much for me. Let's, let's sing that last verse one more time. When I look back, oh, I see a life of pain. Clouds of darkness and sorrow.
it feels out there, but it's beginning to feel pretty good up here. <laughs> I love to feel his presence. Don't you tonight? Give the Lord another hand clap and praise, will you? Without him tonight, we're nothing. I know that. Kathy, I think, is one of the finest songwriters in the country. I, I, I really believe that, and sometimes I don't think she gets enough credit. And she wrote a beautiful song, and I, th I think it has a beautiful meaning. It says, if you have problems tonight, and you have the faith as a grain of a mustard seed, speak to that mountain, and it'll disappear.
Let me tell you, I can't sing any other way than just open up. I sing by the letter. Open up and let her fly. That's the only way we know how. But let me tell you, we were down in the great state of Georgia not too long ago. We got some dear friends down there. And, and Papa Benson inspired a song for Kathy to write. And he says down here, you might think you're nothing and you're nobody. You're nothing and you're nobody. You know, you're, you could be replaced on your job. They could go on without you. But honey, he told me about a wedding feast that was prepared. And he Boy. says he's got his seat right there. Yes. And nobody can sit in it. And you know the good part? When we were growing up back in the hills of Virginia, and my daddy was a coal miner, a lot of times we didn't know where our next meal was coming from. And my big brothers would push me off the bench every, just about every meal. But honey, when we get up into heaven, it won't be that way. Amen. Here's a song that says they can't start till we all get there. <laughs> Blind will see. 
the half that's never been told. You know, once you've had a taste of that water, you'll never thirst again. How many's had a taste of the water tonight? Come to the water and you'll never thirst again. Sing it, Cotton. There is a well that this thirsty soul can drink from. And the purity that it brings, it will never stand. Oh, 
here's a song that we like to do for you called Child Child. Save your soul. Remember the joy when you gave him full control. But if time has removed the peace you knew then, he's calling you back to the place you. when you pray. Listen. They loved the Lord and they served Him to die was their desire. When they started praying, the Lord stood by the side. So who was that old furnace and the door swing open wide? Are your days filled with trouble? Your heart is broken too. There are questions that need answered and you don't know what to do. And your friends try to help you with things they say and do. Well, it's something that God will take you through. Then something happens. When you pray, something happens when faith finds a way. There's no problem, too great or small. Jesus sends an answer when you call. When you call, His eyes are always watching. His ears are always listening to hear what you have to say. Yes, something. 
so much. We like to sing a song that says, A Never Failing God. Put your hands together and help us out just a little bit tonight. We're serving a God that will never fail us and never let us down. Amen. When I come to the end of a journey And the more I walk the road I used to draw find out many times in our lives and I have to go back and I, I think well God you've been so good to me how could I how could I have failed you and we find out sometimes we do fail him but I think that must be human nature but you know I can't complain and I shouldn't complain about a thing because God has been so good to me he has blessed me abundantly and I'm not talking about material things I'm talking about the spiritual things. A mind to serve him, a mind to call upon him. And just, just to think, honey, he's a lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's everything to me. I love him tonight. Here's a song that says, I can't complain.
thank you so much. God bless you. You've been so kind, so good to the nippers. And we appreciate you so much for that. You know, I feel unworthy to stand up here tonight. You know, many, many years ago, before God saved my soul, it seemed like I went through a trying time that nobody could understand. My family couldn't understand. My best friends couldn't understand. Nobody could understand. And it seems like that my biggest problem is I just didn't have the Lord in my life. But after Jesus saved my soul, honey, he turned darkness in the day. He turned my life around. Now, honey, I got every reason to live and everything to be happy about. But I can recall the years when I, when I really couldn't hold down a job. And I turned over to alcohol. And that's the only thing I lived for. I didn't want to go to bed at night. And I didn't want to get up in the morning. I was very, very miserable and very, very depressed. But Jesus come in and took all that away. I had somebody praying for me. And I thank him for it. But you know, as I was going through these things, I thought, well, if I do go to church, what will people think about me? What will they say? You know, I found out after I got saved and I got in church, I found out some beautiful scriptures. You know, the world couldn't let me forget how I used to live. And people wouldn't let me forget what I used to be. But God said he'd take those sins and cast them into the sea of forgetfulness. Never to remember them anymore. Amen. I'm glad I'm serving a God that's alive and full of love tonight and mercy. Would you give him a big hand? Praise God. Here's a song that says, God can't remember what I used to be. so glad that I'm serving a God that doesn't remember what I was yesterday. You know, the moment that you just say, Jesus, 
I love you and come into my heart. Yes, that's right, Cotton. No matter where you've been or what you've done. He loves you enough to forgive you. And then he doesn't remember your sins anymore. And you start anew. <laughs> Praise the Lord. What a wonderful Savior he is tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Kathy wrote a song. And I think it's one of the prettiest songs she's ever written. And it just simply says, you know, love, love is more than a word. And when you say the word love... I tell you, it means more than anything else because that means you would lay down your life for someone. Listen, love is more than a word. Love's a word we use each day. Everyone. that you know we've had a beautiful evening here with you and felt God's presence and it's just big good to, to feel him here this evening amen. amen and you know I want to leave one thought with you before we leave tonight God can move every mountain that's in your way he'll walk with you through the darkest valley and he'll hold your hand but you know something when it comes time to give him praise I don't think that we have to wait till we get to the other side to praise him. amen can't we just praise him here tonight Honey, I feel like praising him. It doesn't make any difference where I'm at. I might be in the middle of the street somewhere. He is so good to me. And let's not be ashamed to praise him tonight. And Kathy wrote a song about it. We get a lot of requests to do it. It says, I can't wait until the end. This will be our last song this evening. Help us out just a little bit.
begins. Some just call it emotion because I sing and shout. But this feeling is so strong, I've got to let it out. Sing, oh, joyful tears of praise. Some just call it emotion because I sing and shout. But 